Okay, this is going to be a quick demo to show the the new dark saber that, that has just arrived. This one is with a Xenopixel uh, soundboard as well as a new pixel blade. Okay, now uh, when it comes the time, uh, it's in a deep sleep mode. La. So in order to get it out of deep sleep mode, we need to press this uh, button for a few seconds until it, it says it's, it's put up. La. So you hear it power on, which means now it's out of deep sleep mode. Okay, it's not turned on yet, but now it's already in in a, in a ready mode. La. Okay, so now there's only one switch here, one very dark switch. I'm not sure if you can see it. Okay, one dark switch there. Okay, there's no other switch that is, uh, that is available for pressing anything. Okay, so... Uh, this dark switch is also not lighted up, so you can't see any lights there. Okay, it's meant to be discreet. Lah. Okay, now there are four ways to turn the saber on and off with button and as well as uh, gesture control. So I'm going to show you how to turn it on. One, one press of the button, turn on. Okay, this is one of the pre-on effects. Lah. Okay, turn, turn off. press until it, it turns off okay now second way is like this mm, you know. step okay step and then step we'll also turn it off as well okay third way uh, third way is to twist twist the hill we will also turn on and then or you twist we will also turn off Okay, and then uh, the other way is Okay, that will also turn it on And also this is the same way to turn it off So there are four different ways to turn it on and off You can use a switch or you can also use your gesture control Okay Now when you, when you turn it on uh, Let's see uh, A couple of things you can do One is the uh, Blaster block. Okay, let me change to another color because now it's on white and then the blaster blocks mostly are white so white on white you can't really see let me just change it change the color first huh? now to change the color what we can do is we point down okay as we point down then we let me see huh? change color point down whole power and twist point down whole power then twist Point down, hold power, then twist. So now the color will, will continuously change. Okay, now it keeps changing. So you hold, you keep holding on the button until you come to a color that you want. Then when you come to the color that you want, then only you let go, then it confirm the color. So now I let go, it stops at red. Okay, so now you see red color. So this phone now is in dark saber form. The the one in the Mandalorian show, eh? the, this is a sound form. Okay, so now blaster blocks. So now you can see better, isn't it? Because now it's dark. Now it's in red color, so the blaster block is more obvious. Okay, so if you want to do blade lock up, you hold the button and then you clash. So now it's done. The lock up button. Okay, you hold and press. There's a lock up. Okay, now. If you hold the button up, there's a force sound. Just now, if you to hold the button, Facing up uh, and then you twist. So you have the, the force effect. Okay, so in this case, it depends on the form. So different form will have different effects. So in this case, it's just a. Uh, okay. 
Let me turn this off. Now, besides those, there are a couple of ways uh, to to change the what do you call it the effects of the blade, uh, volume and those kind of things. But those those are mostly done when the saber is off. So let's say I want to change the volume. So there are three levels of volume: loud, softer, and as well as mute. So now it's on loud. So okay, so the button here, if I press and hold, then I count for two, uh, and then let go, it will change the volume. Yeah. One, two. Now it says volume low. One, two. Mute. One, two. Volume high. So now it says volume high. Okay. Now because the the now because the 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 hilt uh, is very very slim. Uh, you see, it's really really very slim. Much slimmer than normal hilts. So therefore, the speaker cannot be very big, uh. So therefore, the sound is not the loudest of all the sabers. Uh, but it's okay, you can still hear it, but it's not the loudest. Uh. Okay, so just now that one is, if you count to two, quick, one, two, then you let go, then it will change between the volume. Now, if you, if you, if you count to three, hold, when it's over, press and hold, count to three, then it will change what we call the bleed effects. So I'm going to go through it. Uh. One, two, three. Photon ignition. So this is the photon ignition uh, effect. Okay, one more time. Huh? One, two, three. Pulse. This one is pulse. So let's see pulse. So it is actually a gradual, like breathing kind of thing. It's slowly breathing, pulsing. Huh? Okay. Off. Next one. Two, three. Rainbow blade. Rainbow blade. So this is the the rainbow blade. Okay. Off. Okay. Next one. One, two, three. Candy blade. Candy blade. Okay. Let's see how does a candy blade look like. Eh? So the candy blade is uh, a little bit like the a little bit like the what do you call it the rainbow blade as well, but this one is smaller and then slightly different, uh, different effect. Okay, off. Next one. One, two, three. Unstable. Unstable. So next one is unstable blade effect. So now you can see very very quick kind of a pause. Uh. So that's unstable. Next one. One, two, three. Fire blade. Fire blade. So this is the, the fire blade effect. You can see inside the, you know that is, like fire is running. Flame, fire flame kind of effect. Huh? Next one. One, two, three. Steady. Steady blade. Okay, this is a normal one. So the, the blade is steady, there is no effect, no pausing, no nothing, no fire, no, no rainbow, no nothing. So the steady blade. Okay, off. Next one. One, two, three. Warp ignition. Warp ignition. Now this one is uh, ignition. Ignition is, uh, I think, holding it and holding now for four times and uh, then it changes the ignition type. Uh. So this is the warp ignition. Okay. The ignition is the, the pre-on before the blade actually start. This is the effect that it gives before it settles on the, the blade effect. So let me turn this off. Let's try again. Next one, huh? So this is four. Huh? One, two, three, four. Phaser ignition. Phaser ignition. So these are all the ignition, different type of ignition. The ignition is what we call the pre-on, huh? the ignition before the actual blade effect. But this is a huh? phaser. 
Okay, very interesting, huh? Go, check, then zoom. Okay, that's a phaser ignition. Next one. One, two, three, four. Now oh, this font, I hold it for too long already. Okay, this is the next font. I, I hold it down for too long, I need to count four. But, oh, one, two, three, four. Standard blade. So this one is standard blade ignition. Standard blade is normal. Lah. Okay, so this is the standard blade. Off. Next one. One, two, three, four. Blaster blade. Blaster blade. So when it comes to blaster blade, when you turn it on, you don't see anything. You only get the effect when you press the, the power button to shoot blaster. See that? Okay, so that's a blaster blade. Okay, next one. Next ignition. Uh. One, two, three, four. Ghost blade. Ghost blade. The ghost blade is like sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not there. You know, that kind of a... Uh, but when you move it, it's okay. But when you stop, then it becomes like, like a ghost. Uh, it sometimes it's... So when you move, then it's there. When you stop moving, then it becomes like dim. Okay, uh. Off. Next one. One, two, three, four. Broken ignition. Uh, something ignition. Uh. Let's try. Uh. Broken ignition. Uh, that's a broken ignition. So, off. Let's try next one. Two, three, four. Stack ignition. Stack ignition. So this is how the stack ignition look like. Okay, then it's settled into what we call the, the steady blade. Okay, off. Next one. One, two, three, four. Photon ignition. Photon ignition. Okay, so now it's back to photon already. Okay, let's see how the photon. Huh? Okay, so that is the ignition. So we have gone over just now how to change the volume, how to change the blade effects, then how to change the ignitions. Now the 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 next one is uh, changing fonts. Okay, now there are two ways to change font. One is one is off. You hold until it announces the next font. That's the one the easiest way. Huh? So one, two, three, four. So this is the, the uh, a different font already from just now that one because it's a, the new font has been announced. Okay, so. I think lose a bit, uh. maybe the maybe the gesture control turn is, turns it off. Uh. Four sound, hold up and paste. So that's a four sound. Okay, off. Okay, another way to change the another way to change the sound phone uh, is when the thing is off, point it down and then you twist. So it's announced uh, mixed phone already. So you don't have to press the switch. So as you hold it down, you just twist. Let me see how it be. Uh. The dark so dark sword. You have to get rid of. See, so that is it changes the sound phone when you point it down and then you twist the, the hip. I've been waiting for this day for a long time. Okay, so that's another way to, to change the, the sound phone. Okay. So the I'm not going to go through all the sound phones uh, because all together there are 34 channels. I've counted uh, there are about 34 uh 34 different sound phones uh, so that is a lot of time that we're going to use if we go through all of them but basically you can say almost all the major characters are uh, uh, basically all there uh, okay so I think uh, 
besides that okay so I've also shown you how to change colors and those kind of things now how do you charge this thing eh? now there's a screw here okay before we talk about that screw first eh? let's talk about this screw eh? okay so basically there are four screws here now it's in black lah. you can't really see maybe you can see a bit eh? so there are four screws here which uses the the what do you call it the allen key so you use that to tighten the when you insert the blade as usual there is a spring there lah. so you need to hold it down and then you need to tighten all the four screws using the allen key okay so that's how you tighten the blade now to charge the to charge the what do you call it the the saber you need to remove the pummel okay so there's one the screw here <coughs> you need to remove this once you remove the screw you can take out the pummel and then from here you can see there is a USB-C port so you'll be given a USB-C cable so you plug in the USB-C cable here and then the other side is to a USB charger lah. okay so once you have charged already you put it back here the one that has the hole matches the one with the hole here lah. so you just put it down okay and then use a the screw tighten it back Okay, one more round, quick quick one. Sometimes all the twisting and everything I can turn off it because of the gesture control. Okay? Gesture block. Change color. Okay. Gesture box. Blade lock up. Four sound. Okay. Okay, I think that's about all. Uh, anything you can always message me. Thank you.